James De La Fuente was on the scene as authorities searched a home there and has the latest on the investigation. Police tell us that the call for shots fired came at 9.15 Wednesday morning right here at this house behind me. That's where they found a 38-year-old dead from multiple gunshot wounds. Bennington Rescue Squad uh, responded here and did confirm that the person uh, is deceased uh, and the, and the uh, deceased individual does have multiple gunshot wounds. The State Police Major Crimes Unit and the Bennington Police Department combing this home at 324 Pleasant Street for much of the day Wednesday. Multiple officers and detectives coming in and out of the bottom floor apartment. It's unclear exactly what they're looking for, but the chief tells us they're now reaching out to the community for help. We want our community to know that the Bennington Police Department, working with our, our partners, uh, our other law enforcement partners, are doing our best to keep the community safe. And when incidents like this happen, we do rely upon the community providing us with information so that we can solve this crime and bring about a successful prosecution. The chief says they do have one suspect in custody who, as of tonight, is cooperating with their investigation. However, they are still looking for another suspect. When asked about the potential threat this person could pose to the community, the chief says local residents should be cautious until they're apprehended. It's a, a possibility that uh, this person that we're still seeking is armed and dangerous, uh, and until that person is in custody, uh, the answer to that is yes. Police executed a search warrant at the property and are waiting to reveal more details. We will continue to follow the latest developments and bring them to you on air and online at News10.com. In Bennington, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.